hey hey welcome back to the channel it's so nice to have you all back again please do want to subscribe if you're coming across the channel for the first time and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified each time i post new content please do want to also give me a thumbs up on each of my videos right it will really help and support your girl guys today we're going to be reacting to amazing finished supermarket you all know i've been you know consistent with finished videos these days this is honestly because i'm really having fun watching this okay so we are going to be watching this directly from leon the news website okay without further delays let's dive right in there's also an exotic fruits wow section with some fruits i've never seen Ooh, before i think i've seen that one but i can't recall the name pretty cool if you ask me and all fresh as can be wow that's what i meant on. <laughs> it's a very very high quality store there's even a salad bar which is pretty salad amazing bar. the salad de bari Ooh. for 15 euros almost you have a kilo so that's nice. 149 for 100 grams that's nice. I got some seeds, some Doritos on top, <laughs> uh, tuna, carrot, onion, oh, wow. some falafels, even cheese toppings, nice. and the actual salad, there's fruits, oh. there's everything oh my God. for a healthy, all healthy snack. food, absolutely amazing, nice. you can disinfect your hands, I totally agree with that, and just pile on in your salad box. What a marvelous store. Oh my store, gosh. Guys. It's actually they sell just fruit because everything I'm seeing there is so healthy. As fresh as can be. The habanero peppers. Oh. Is that? This tops habanero any pepper. supermarket I've ever seen. In the yellow country. one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. This is really beautiful. Gosh. I wish I can have yeah. some of those beef. What's the yellow one? Phone shop? Yeah, this is a phone shop, I think. Wow, this supermarket is really big. Things, you guys have got great supermarket too. You guys have got very large supermarket. Like, this is so big. Wow, all the things are well arranged on their own specific Wow. Ooh, nice. This is really huge, guys. It can take someone almost all day. <laughs> okay, let me just not exaggerate. Almost two hours to finish shopping here because if you don't really know the shop a lot, or if you don't really know the shop very well, you might miss your way around. <laughs> That's watermelon, right? What's this one? I think this is that great lemon, right? <laughs> wow, this supermarket is so big, and I like the fact that I can see so many healthy foods, so many fresh healthy foods. <laughs> wow, food time! I can see cinnamon rolls already. I think it's one of the things delicacies. nice nice this is really huge and i don't think they sell only food because i can see different things here as well it's like it's like it's a plaza right am i correct let me know in the comment section guys or is this just one shop this finnish supermarket is in uh Yveskula, which Yveskula. is in central finland. central finland okay and um it's one of the biggest ones in the town it's essentially in the city and what you see is that everything is pretty much fresh yes. and you can just take um, whatever you need basically straight from the field it arrives in a box yeah. it's put right here and you can just uh, wow take a pile and go straight home and cook a very fresh, fresh nice oh meal my God. <laughs> for yourself yes. prices are a bit higher obviously than in bulgaria oh although it's nothing outrageous mm -hmm. um compared to the fresh the salary most <laughs> mostly oh wow then definitely it's uh it's a decent price but if we compare it to 
the Bulgarian standard, it would be, well, quite a difference, obviously. Ooh. It's nowhere comparable. Um, it's not just a supermarket, they essentially have everything ranging from household products to gardening, you have the magazines, um, comics, obviously, uh, you have food stuff, you have uh, products for pets, strawberries currently in May 2022 are 550 for 400 grams which is basically the same price as Bulgaria in this season where these strawberries are also quite expensive this time of year okay. everything for food um, it's a bit more American in terms of size so you have paper in bigger packages exactly. everything is just a bit bigger <laughs> just like Canadian at all that means essentially you get a wholesale price as well mm -hmm. where it's a little bit lower i think this can uh, be likened to how much you buy. costco example, here in canada is, they've well, got kitchen, huge household towels huge sizes of things the normal toilet paper is becoming more expensive because i don't know i read it uh, the current crisis let's say or some made up excuse it's not very cheap as you can see you pay 7 <laughs> 15 for a batch of toilet paper which is quite expensive here you find wholesale as well where you can get 32 rolls or what is it? 75. 24. It would cost you 31 cents a piece, which is relatively affordable. Again, not not much of a difference compared to Bulgaria, for example. Especially if we take into account the income. What else do we have? Clothes, Clothes shoes, shoes. Um, everything you can imagine. Wow. This is really a sight There's to behold. Even dressing rooms. There's toilets. Um, it's the closest we get in Europe to a Walmart, essentially. Oh, Walmart? Just with decent looking people around as compared to the US. Yeah, Walmart. You can compare this to Walmart too. Back shoes, it just doesn't end essentially. We have sports goods and we get to The bike. The bike. Wow. Home trainers. Beautiful bike. I, I wish I know how to ride one. Sleeping bags. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bike, guys. I would have loved to learn, but I think because Finland obviously is a huge for outdoor that. destination, and people themselves do a lot of nature, uh, hiking, fishing, Ooh. everything you can imagine. So you do need all of these products uh -huh. as well that you find right here. Nice. A uh, raft, even. Um, and you get your TVs, your coffee machines. So essentially, Air it's fire. Technopolis as well that we would have in Bulgaria, where you can get an air conditioning system, um, a flat screen TV, things for remote working, a microphone, a webcam. It's all in one. What's interesting is that, well, essentially this is a supermarket, but you have lamps as well. Mm. Lamps right here. Um, what I wanted to show you is just that it doesn't end. Wow. You have it all. And for Europe, this is a pretty uh, impressive Very store impressive. because rarely do we see it all in one. But Finland is a little bit American in that sense mm. that uh, it's catered to convenience. Uh, part of that taking into account that distances in Finland are pretty uh, big. Nice. So if you go to the city and you live in some rural area, you go to the city and you do it all at once. Uh, it's the IKEA in here, it's the hardware store, it's your outdoor store. 
you can get your toilet paper, you can get your food, and you take your big car home. That's the the thing in Finland. Mm. And it's actually quite cool, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, I, I, like I believe so. Uh, that's it for now. Wow. All right. Take care. Wow, wow, guys. Fins, you guys have got a great supermarket. Like, you know, this can be likened to Walmart, like you said. And I also think it can be likened to Costco. Yeah. I think from what he said, Fin can be compared to American and the Canadian lifestyle in terms of those items we saw just now in the supermarkets, unlike other parts of the European countries. Where you can see small, small sizes of these. Even if you see a bigger one of it, it might not look as elaborate as you expect it to look in America or Canada, right? So, this is so amazing to watch Rockstars. Things you guys have got a great country, and I really admire you guys for that. What do you think, guys, about this amazing Finnish supermarket? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon in our next video. Bye.